This is the story of the cultural learning questers from the European Cultural Learning Network told by Collage Arts. At the beginning of our journey, we had to reflect back on what we knew about cultural learning and the artists who delivered this type of work. We discovered that often you have to go backwards to go forwards. Our small band of questers included artists, academics and cultural organisations from 11 European countries. Together, we aim to map some of the diverse and complex landscape of cultural learning work that happens in Europe. Our quest was to construct a toolkit of knowledge, essential skills and charms to offer to other cultural learning questers working or wanting to work in the same or similar territories. We wanted to support current and future workers and to increase diversity in the sector across Europe. We wanted to signpost the way so that others outside of creative networks could reach the rich, loamy plains of success. We wanted to encourage them to gain the skills and knowledge to ride the wise flying creatures of creativity and flexibility to soar above slow, brutal monsters of bureaucracy and can't-do attitudes. We aim to build bright-coloured bridges of meaning, community and fairness. We were questing to share the dazzling jewels of cultural healing and diversity. This quest would discover a chalice beset with jewels, a certificated development pathway for cultural learners, freelancers and employees, valuing equality, diversity, community and sustainability. Our first big puzzle was, how do we include non-formal cultural learning in a curriculum? For two and a half years, we have journeyed together, sharing knowledge, stories and ideas through forests of charts and post-it notes. We have been greeted by friendly faces across Europe, we have had some cheery feasts with late nights and laughter, music and companionship. We have run concepts across burning coals and balanced ideas on tight ropes and blasted through one brick wall only to discover another one behind it. It has been a journey of transformation. We have transformed names on a map into memories, unknown people into colleagues and friends, ideas, stories and thoughts into collaborative resources. We have transformed a collection of organisations into a network of co-travellers on this journey. We needed to listen to other cultural learning workers and organisations, so we became the researchers of artists and cultural organisations in our own networks. A set of charts was designed to help questers to record their research activities about cultural learning from their own country networks. Past and current experiences were shared alongside opinions about the skills that are essential for cultural learning work. Artists and senior managers also shared personal and organisational histories and identified key challenges within their national context. They also made some suggestions for potential roles of a European Cultural Learning Association. The quest required a lot of listening and collecting so that we could connect all the knowledge, stories and ideas from each country. These threads of tacit knowledge from cultural learning workers and employers in each country were weaved into a broader tapestry of collective knowledge in the form of codified practice-led thought. That this tapestry always acted as a magnet to pull the band of questers toward the practice-led viewpoint as they made their journey onwards. Areas of commonality were identified from the research findings. Trends were presented from within the network of each country as well as across country networks. Then some deep thinking began about how to interpret and understand the implications of these findings for the development of a cultural learning curriculum. A literature review was also carried out to explore academic writing about the sector and to stimulate further thinking of the questers beyond the magnet of their practice-led viewpoint. The ecological approach captured career development trends for cultural learning workers that were broad, organic and non-linear rather than narrow, focused or linear. There was a consensus about three strands of activity integrated in cultural learning activities. Artistic practice, transferring knowledge and skills and developing the social potential of others. Individual histories of artists and cultural organisations were examined for patterns and then clustered and developed playfully into archetypes. Artists, represented by birds, and cultural organisations, represented by plants. These archetypes were all based on current active members of country networks and could be used to consider essential needs of the network. There was agreement about the curriculum and pilot testing took place, but the most striking feature was the huge range of diversity among the cultural learning activities and events, despite testing identical curriculum components. A framework was developed to give some coherence and to cope with the diversity by mapping all the combinations of cultural learning characteristics. 
This framework became the 7P framework. The 7P framework provided the means to deliver an open curriculum which would enable all cultural learning activities and events to be included. This is able to provide all learners, freelancers and employees with a customised syllabus for cultural learning. The ECLN Cultural Learning Quest across Europe found the chalice by structured conversations, listening and deep thinking and used this chalice to build a clock. This clock is the Cultural Learning Open Curriculum Kit, which will help to recognise and validate people whose work has previously been invisible to policymakers and the wider public. It will also help to create access to appropriate training and continuing professional development. The ECLN clock is chiming in a new era for cultural learning in Europe. If you listen very carefully, you can hear it ticking.